we're going to solve this problem, what we're going to do here is take the inverse. So we swap this. We have, well, we have y is equal to x cubed minus 1. So we have x is equal to y cubed minus 1. So y cubed is going to be equal to x plus 1. We have both both sides. And then take the cube root of both sides. So I get y is equal to the cube root of x plus 1. So is this the inverse? Let's find out. f of the inverse of x is equal to cube root of x plus 1 cubed plus, or minus 1. So we end up with x plus 1 minus 1. So yes, it works out. Um, so that works. And then what we're going to have for our uh, graph here, just to kind of prove that it works, is it's going to look something like this. Um, but the, there's kind of a limit here. Um, X cannot be anything greater than negative one. Usually anything, uh, f well, cutoff would be here, but since it's a cube root, you can kind of work it. So anyway, that's, that's the graph. This is the graph. Here's the original function, and then here's the inverse function graph. Okay, that's it.